What's up guys, uh, this is my lock collection as of May 21st, I think, 2009, and, uh, show you all my locks here. This one, just a regular Brinks disc lock, uh, Max Security, uh, have not picked this one yet, and I've worked on it, believe me, forever, and it, I just can't get, uh, Master, I think number three or something like that. Uh, this one, this is the best lock that I have, and, I don't know, I, did, I didn't show it in the other video, but I'll show it to you now. I have a working key for it, it's, uh, uh, key retaining, and this thing is huge. And this is a, uh, Sergeant and Greenleaf lock. And, uh, let's see if I can show you the key on this thing, I don't know if I can get it out or not. Mm, Alright, I got the key out, can't show you the number or anything on it, but you can somewhat see what it looks like here. Pretty weird looking key. Anyway, I do have the key for it. And this one, Master 911, I put a uh, safety lockout core in it. And I uh, got that from Jay Ruther too. And I picked this thing like one time and I uh, couldn't pick it again. But when I get it on camera, I'll put it up. Uh, this one right here is a uh, child safe lock. It's a double pin lock or whatever. Let's see if I can, if I can get the. I guess you have to have it. Like that thing. One second there. Alright. Uh, I have not been able to pick this because the way the key goes in there, see that right there, uh, it goes in there, I can't get a tension tool or anything, I have a double sided tension tool but it doesn't seem to work very well, but anyway if I ever get that I'll put it on, get it on camera, uh, another master lock. This one is a uh, Road Pro lock. I cannot get this one. This is by far probably the best key cut. Or not key cut, but <clears throat> I don't know what to call it. But the way the key goes in there, I'll show it to you here in a second. You can see. I cannot get a tension tool to stay in there without binding. It's just it really gets on my nerves. And the way it kind of folds over uh, right below the keys, or the key pins, and I just can't get it in there. Anyway, this one, dollar store log, didn't really feel like getting it on camera, but I have, of course, picked it. Uh, this one got from Bobcat, 5 a.m., thanks for that lock. And, working key. I never get it, there we go. Pops out. You've probably seen him pick it, and I think somebody else has picked it. <coughs> anyway, uh, this one is a uh, Stanley lock. This is probably the hardest lock that I have. Jay Ruther 2, he recommended me to get this lock, and I eventually got one. See the key cut there. Eh, pretty hard key cut, if you ask me. I mean, I, I can't get it done, I can get some pins to. Set. This is pretty cool. It's like a drill out thing safety mechanism. Just kind of moves with the lock. Anyway, this is a pretty cool lock. I like it. But that's all my locks as of right now. The only ones that I haven't shown you, and you've seen them in the last uh, lock up, my lock collection that I have is a uh, Brinks dial lock. And that's, you know, that's pretty much it. Oh, I got one more here. Hang on. Can put this one in there. Just a master lock, but it has a key back here, and I've gotten this on there, and it's actually kind of a pretty hard uh, pick because the uh, it's just <clears throat> it already moves kind of whenever you put the tension wrench in there, and it's pretty hard to pick. But anyway, got that one on there. Got the combination for it here on this piece of paper. But I did not get the key when I bought it. I got it uh, in a garage shell. Anyway, that's all my locks as of uh, right now. 
And whenever I get any of these picked, I'll get them up there on YouTube for you. See ya.